That's what we're going to do today. It's written on the mirror. That's what we're going to do. That's yeah. what we're doing. Six froggers, whatever those are. You know, you play frogger six times. If you lose six times, that could go for a while. If you're good at it like me. But anyway, is the mic on? Yeah. All right, guys. So today we are going to talk about. Hey, you let me back up. You're like, I was just a headshot. Oh. Headshots only. We do play headshots only. If you ever want to see me in Call of Duty, I actually haven't played in years. You're probably trash, but I'll crush you in 2K. Because that's where it's at. <laughs> And Isaac will beat you at Rocket League. <laughs> because he's a Rocket League god. Um, Alright, so today we're talk today we're talking about I don't like this background. You don't like this one? No, not this background. <laughs> just just the kind of the doors. This is good. Are we gonna go uncut? Yeah, uncut. Uncut. Did you already stop the video once? Nope. Oh, uncut. Alright. So today we're going to talk about power lifting and bodybuilding. Which is better? Which do I think is better if you're just trying to get healthier? Of course, if you're training for a power lifting competition, you're going to power lift. If you're training for a bodybuilding competition, you're going to bodybuild. But as far as general health, what is better? Um, so there's also a third party I feel like in this and that's like an athletic type of training. So if you're training for like a football or uh, for, for like football or lacrosse or something like that, there's a different type of training for that as well where you're focusing on cardio as well. Um, so that is mainly focused on explosive workouts and you're going to be doing a lot of power cleans, you're going to be doing a lot of deadlifts, you're going to be doing a lot of bench, and you're going to be doing a lot of explosive workouts as well as, well as cardio, because cardio is important in all sports. So that's kind of the first section with the athleticism. Powerlifting, how do you even train for powerlifting? Powerlifting, you're going to be doing a lot of weight and you're not going to do a lot of sets. You're going to focus on your main lifts, you know, shoulder press, bench press, deadlift, and squat. You're gonna spend almost half of your workout probably doing that. Um, you'll see, you know, you'll see here when I'm doing like deadlifts or something. I like the power lift train, so I will do a heavy set and I'll build up. So I'll keep the reps below five as I'm building up. Once I get to a heavy set, I'll probably only do three reps and then keep doing sets of three reps each set and keep doing sets of that until I can't do it anymore and I'll drop the weight and continue to do low reps. So you're always going to keep the reps low. You're always going to focus on high power. You might even have sets where you only do one rep at a time, but it's going to really condition your body and your central nervous system to be able to handle heavy weight for that short period of time. Bodybuilding, on the other hand, is a completely different spectrum. You're focused on really working out the muscle completely, um, really exerting the most energy out of the muscle, getting it completely fatigued. So you're going to be lightening the weight a little bit. You're going to be doing about moderate weight, which are also going to be doing a lot of burnouts. You're going to be doing a lot of a lot of reps somewhere in a 12 to 15 rep range for a lot of your workouts. Um, minimum of eight reps when you're bodybuilding for any type of workout, even if it's bench, squat, no matter what. Minimum of eight reps. And again, you're just focused on the contractions of the muscle. With powerlifting, you're focused on using the whole body to make it as easy as possible to lift the most amount of weight. Whereas bodybuilding, you're really you're really focusing your mind on one muscle. So if I'm benching, I'm trying to have a muscle line connection with just my chest solely to try to get as much out of my chest as possible and not use the rest of my muscles as much. Because for, for, for bodybuilding, you are really strictly trying to focus on building that single muscle at a time. So what do I think is better? Do I think, you know, if you're trying to get healthier, should you be in here powerlifting? Should you be in here bodybuilding? Should you be in here athletic training? Um, I think if you're going to pick one, athletic training is a good one to go with, but I honestly think you need to incorporate all three. If you incorporate all three, it's going to give you the overall best health. So you'll see here, when I'm doing training, I like to incorporate small aspects of athleticism with box jumps, stuff like that. Um, sometimes I'll work in some cardio, I need to get better at that because I'm realizing that my cardio is starting to lack a lot and I really want to make sure I'm not getting too focused on muscles and then I'm out of breath by the time I walk up two flights of stairs. I'm not at that point, not even close to that point yet, but I never want to be at that point, so I need to start working on cardio again to just to make sure that never happens and get in the habit of doing it. So, but as far as my physical training, I really do mix bodybuilding and powerlifting really well. You'll see on my major list, I am focused on powerlifting. I'm focused on getting my maxes up. I'm focused on moving some heavy weight and conditioning that central nervous system. So I'll build up, I'll do the heavy sets like I said, and then sometimes to end it, I will do a burnout. This will get you a, a bodybuilding type aspect for that lift, 
And then all my secondary lifts, you know, my chest machines, my flies, all of that is focused on bodybuilding. So I'm focused on doing high reps, focused on doing a moderately heavy weight and focused on really fatiguing the muscle. So I think if you really mix all three well and you get a little bit of each thing, it's gonna give you the overall best health, the overall best physique, um, just to keep it throughout the course of your cutting or something, that's a completely different ball game. But as far as just your general physique throughout the year, if you're just trying to keep maintain a solid physique, I think it is the best way to go and I think it's the healthiest option to go. Because you're getting stronger, you're getting better looking, and you're gonna keep up your cardio. So that wraps up this video guys. Definitely share this video with your friends, share us on Facebook, we're on Instagram, Twitter. We'll get more fluid on Snapchat, everything's on social media down below, so just hit us up there.